everyone, it's Sherry here, and I'm going to be playing with some Jelly Arts Jelly Plate. I don't know if you've ever tried these before, but they're really cool and really fun. And I'm going to concentrate on using the smaller size today. I have the 3x5, but there's also the 5x7. And these can be mounted onto a block and be used as a stamp. So I wanted to show you a couple techniques doing that. I also wanted to show you some selections of type of brayers that you can use. Um, this is a Ranger brayer, and these two are from Speedball. Since I'm working on a smaller plate, I'll be using my smaller brayer. So I have those. Um, I've also mounted my jelly plate onto this block here. And if you've never used with a jelly plate, it's a, it's a really kind of gooey, solid, squishy uh, plate that you can use for monoprinting. Um, but like I said, I'm going to be using it as a stamp, so I have that ready. It's all clean. And the paints that I'm going to use today are the Dina Wakely Heavy Body Acrylic Paints. I like these because I can squeeze out of the lid and I can mix my colors really nicely. The paper that I'm going to be working on is Nina cardstock. So just regular Nina cardstock. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use my stencils and the paints and I'm going to just go ahead and paint an entire sheet first. And then I can cut this up and do whatever I want with it to put it onto a card or other art journal project or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to kind of keep this to the, my left since I'm left-handed. Also, I have another sheet off to the side which I'll roll my brayer on to kind of clean off my paints in between.
Okay, so I have embossed my greeting on here. It says, because when you stop and look around, this life is pretty amazing. I've embossed that on 40 pound uh, basil cardstock. Um, when I put it on top, it just softens everything, and I think it still looks pretty nice. So I had a area of my panel that I chose, and I'm not super happy with right here, but I thought if I put my piece on top, I can just put some washi tape over that and then seal up my um, my vellum. So I'm going to go ahead and put just a strip on the back and I've cut this to where it's going to line up at the bottom line it up on the sides and if you need to which I might need to is you can put <clears throat> sorry I've got really al allergies you can put this in a book until it really flattens out um, but what I'm going to do, since those words are really nice and fairly solid, I'm going to just give it a little bit of help. I don't think you can see that. And add a little bit of adhesive behind some of those words. And then I can just lay that out. And then hopefully that will flatten out. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this around to the outside. And that's really simple and really colorful and really bright. I do have some enamel dots from Pebbles here that I'm going to be ending up using. I'll add those on. And also I have a piece here that I think I'm going to go ahead and do some hearts. And I'll just kind of line up some hearts around here. So I'm going to go ahead and die cut my piece and then I'll show you my final card. I ended up adding a little string around the top and I also sewed around the edges. It's really humid here in the Midwest so my vellum wanted to curl. I really like how this card turned out. I hope I've given you some inspiration on how to use your Jelly Arts jelly plates and thanks for watching.